Eck, you may have come across a painted rock if you've been out maybe hiking around the in the Northwest. And if you're lucky, you may have discovered one that was painted by an artist named Wally Betts. Wally made it his mission to paint more than 1,000 rocks to be found by strangers before he passed away. Our photojournalist Dave Summers spoke with his daughter about his passion. My dad was a rock star. And some of his favorite I like are his little cabins. This one is probably like one of my favorites. My name is Vicki Hart. I'm the daughter of Wallace Betts. He was a, a Korean veteran and him and my mom were married for 58 years. When she passed away, he was pretty depressed and he started playing pinochle and playing cards and kind of created a new life for himself. He went camping with me a few times and he saw people painting with acrylic paints on rocks and he was really fascinated with it. I think it was like a year later, he decided to give it a hand himself. These are some of his first rocks when he first started out. He kind of started out a little rustic, but we could see that he had real talent, so we just encouraged him to keep painting. Those are really beautiful too, the nighttime ones. So I think the fact that he didn't start it till he was 88 years old, that is pretty amazing. He had a lot of pain, and but he would get up and then he'd sit down at the table to paint and pretty soon his pain went away and his worries went away and just took his mind off all of his pain and troubles. This one, there's just so many different colors in there, you know, just so beautiful. People would take him, he'd give them to family and friends who came over. I'd put him on Facebook, so I started sending him to his cousin in North Dakota. I sent him to Oklahoma, Alaska. I put a post on there and it just kind of went viral and everybody messaged me, how can I get one of his rocks? How can I get one of his rocks? And are you gonna hide them? And I thought, well, I'm only one person. And I can't hide all these rocks, so I incorporated people to come to my house and pick up like a dozen rocks at a time and start hiding them for me. He loved camping and the outdoors. Maybe he was a, a musician as well? Yeah, he was just a really good guy. I mean, everybody loved him. He was generous and kind and non-judgmental. He never watched that guy, Bob Ross, on TV. Everybody said he paints like him, but he never yeah. watched that. It was just all natural talent. But he kept painting. I thought there'd be a never-ending supply. So we gave a ton away, and now the supply's kind of dwindled. But I think a lot of people, hundreds of people, have Wally Rocks now, so. <laughs> Oh, it says love. It I, says love. Did you yes, see it? Yes, I did. I, I, the very last second, it registered. That is so cool. When we knew that we were doing a story about painted mm. rocks, like I was saying, I, I thought it would just be like a smiley face on a rock or something. Yeah. We've seen lots of those around. Those are cool. Yeah, and you even referenced it during that story. It was, oh, they kind of look like Bob Ross. Yes, and they he did. never even watched Bob Ross, but had that same style. He didn't and have talent. to. Oh, so cool. I uh, no need to go find one of these. And you need to go, you know, participate. You, you go out and about every mm -hmm. weekend. You need to be hiding some of these for her. I know. I, I, I need to reach out. I love that idea. That'll be fun.